towards the end of 2021, give directly an international NGO, gave government 30 billion shillings to support teachers in private schools affected by the closure of schools under the COVID-19 lockdown. The funds were to be released directly to the 300,000 teachers across the country with each receiving 100,000 shillings. Of the 300,000 teachers, only 11,531 have so far been registered from 1,433 schools. Aside from teaching in private schools, teachers must be duly registered or licensed by the Ministry of Education, teaching in licensed schools among other requirements. Members? However, MPs cited flaws in the selection of teachers and schools and further demanded that the money to be shared among the teachers to be raised from 100,000. Assessing the money by the Minister of Gender that someone must be registered and yet it is not the problem of the teacher not to be registered by the Minister of Education, then it becomes restrictive, it becomes unfair. At least we can go for 200,000 for our teachers. You know, when we keep on comparing our teachers with the local person in the villages, right our speaker, it may make people never to continue respecting our teachers. So I would like to ask the ministry that there is a, a more special consideration. So if the regular teacher is going to be paid, for example, 200,000, can we have an addition for the special needs teacher? Others pointed out the irregularities witnessed in the disbursement of the 100,000 shillings to the vulnerable Ugandans during the COVID-19 lockdown, where many of the intended beneficiaries were left out. Deputy Speaker Anita Monk has suspended the transfer of funds until a report by the parliamentary committees looking into the funds disbursed by the Prime Minister's office is tabled before the House for discussion. We want to know, and there must be a report where somebody is responsible, how much money was budgeted, who got the money rightly? Who got it fraudulently? How many people were locked up? How many officials ate? And how much we want those details? On the lists in some districts, you would find teachers, people listed as teachers. And when you call, it is an old woman who knows nothing about uh, the school we are actually talking about. That is what was happening in some situations. So, the Honorable Speaker is only prudent that. Uh, we don't do the same thing and expect different results. I rise up to second the motion that we suspend discussion until we have the report brought in the House. We need a report on the cash that went out first for us to know the mistakes that happened. Let's not give out money just like that and then tomorrow again you come lamenting in this House. As Minister of Gender, for us we do not handle money. During the previous cash relief program, money and beneficiaries were all uh, uh, brought by the districts. So if the report is to come, the report will not affect in any way the Ministry of Gender. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Uh, government.